Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in, Alessandro the Crypto here and welcome to another video. I am going to have a look into the charts guys because I think that something crazy happened with Ethereum overnight. I am looking at the charts for the first time together with you now. So I just woke up and I'm checking out the chart. So we are going to do this nice TA together, although we're going to have a look into the weekly time frame to uh, have a look what to expect for the next coming week as well. And of course, also for this weekend. And uh, if you like this crypto content, make always sure to leave a like, subscribe to this channel and also make sure to be part of this giveaway that we are doing. Go to this video that is popping up at the end of this video and leave your um, UID and also your USDT TRC20 wallet in the comment section in that video because uh, like that we can select randomly a winner in the next days. Uh, to get these $50 in cash on Zumex. So you need to have a Zumex account. This is one of the best exchanges that I'm using currently. Here you can also trade with USDTs with leverage. So if you have some money on the sideline that is not invested, but you want, of course, to make some money with it, then you can long or short Bitcoin, Ethereum and every other altcoin that you see here in the lat in the list. Even Ordi you can trade here. So if you think that Ordi will continue to pump or Ordi will crash down, then of course uh, you can trade Ordi here as well. You can also just buy it and hodl it of course. And next to that make sure to join our social media platforms. All the links are in the video description. So here in the 4 hour time frame or even better in the 1 hour time frame, we had here this breakout to the upside as expected. I told you yesterday guys that we were in this falling wedge interior bullish pattern. This broke out to the upside and right now we're coming down to retest the support at $43,600. So before I'm going to continue with the TA, very very important to keep an eye on where the CM is closed on uh, on Friday. As you can see we had the close at around $45,000. So while we had here this pump the CME is closed and this makes now the next coming week or even this weekend very, very interesting guys because normally we are retracing back on Monday where we close the CME chart. Otherwise, we would have then a new CME gap like we created here at $39,500. So what we are seeing right now is of course a good setup for us or at least for everyone that are looking out for a new long position because if during the weekend we are coming back down, towards $43,500. In theory, we would have a very good setup because if on a Monday we are going to open up the CMEs, for example, uh, it should be around down here, somewhere down here, we would have a CME gap from here to here. That means that this area would be empty and most of the times we are then coming up to close that CME gap. Of course, we can also continue to go lower, same like we also had here, continuation to the upside, even though we had this new CME gap. This is, of course, possible, but most of the times we are immediately closing those gaps. If not, then, of course, it can take a very long time until we're going to close it again. But keep in mind, the CME is closed at $45,000 on Friday, so in theory, we should be retracing uh, somewhere there um, as soon as the CMEs are starting to trade again. And I know that we have several bearish divergences, we have several sell signals in the 4 hour and daily time frame as well. But as long as we have such an increase in money flow and we are in a clear uptrend, we should be bullish. And whatever uh, bearish signals that we're getting, in my opinion, they can be ignored at least until we are in this parabolic run up. And um, especially as long as we have the daily and weekly closes above the top side of the Calder channels here on the daily, it's at 43k. And um, if we have a look also uh, what Ethereum did. As you can see, we have now two daily closes above our new interior support at $2,300. This is extremely bullish for Ethereum because we are about to most likely see here a big breakout to the upside. So the big run up towards the $3,000 area, in my opinion, has started. Of course, we can still dip down and still dip below $2,300. That's perfectly fine. But I think that the run started just now. I don't expect that we will have another move down towards the $1,800 before here we break out to the upside. I think that Ethereum is ready here for a breakout. I told you that Ethereum is like behind Bitcoin. And if we have a look into the bigger picture here on the weekly, you can see that we most likely are about to close above $2,300. If we do so, then this would be the highest weekly close uh, since the bear market bottom and also the first, uh, the first one above this resistance trend line. So we should expect here big continuation up towards $3,000. So Ethereum is also looking extremely good, guys. I am still in my Ethereum uh, long position. And right now I am underwater, even though overnight 
uh, I, I, I was very much in winning because we had this uh, huge pump towards $2,400, but then immediately had this sell off. So I think that maybe some people took some profits here or I, I don't know what happened, but anyway, we got this sell off. And I think that as long as we have at least one hour, four hour and daily closes above $2,300, uh, this breakout is legit and we should expect continuation to the upside. Also looking at Nasdaq, for example, you can see that we closed extremely bullish here on Friday. We should expect also here continuation to the upside. We closed this weekly candle more or less where we also had here some resistance very close to the all time high. At this point, I think it makes very much sense to test the all time high here. That's why I think that also here for Nasdaq, we have one more leg up before eventually a correction. But if we would create here new all time highs, then I think that even for the crypto market, we can or we could expect new all time highs incoming even before the Bitcoin uh, halving. I know this is this is sounding quite impossible. I mean, we're not too far away from the all time high, but I told you many times that before the halving, I'm not expecting new all time highs. But if on in the traditional markets, we are seeing new all time highs and also Bitcoin is closing monthly candles above the top side of the Kelvin channel, so above $43,600. Then I think we have very good, a very good chance to see something like this. Every time we close above the top side of the Calvus channels in the monthly, we had new all-time highs and a huge parabolic run-up. So far, we're still within the top side of the Calvus channels. Only if we have a look into GBTC, you can see that here we are overshooting the top side of the Calvus channels. And also here, we are now coming to a very critical point to this resistance trend line that is coming from the previous tops. This is the new all-time high on GBTC. Then we had the lower high, so in theory also here we could get rejected, at least short term rejection, come back down, maybe test again this support here at 22 and then come back up. This is in my opinion what will happen, but if certain things would happen, like for example we would break here this resistance on GBTC and push higher and also on the stock market see new all time highs, then I think that although for Bitcoin on the spot chart we will see new all time highs, but this is of course uh, until this is not going to happen. Uh, a dream of course but um, that's why I still play with the game or with the scenario that GBTC will get rejected very soon there and that of course could also mean that here for Bitcoin we maybe have one more less leg up towards 47 to 50k then correction and then start a bull run towards new all-time highs the problem is that currently everyone is seeing that currently everyone is talking about this and normally when everyone is looking at something it never happens that's why this makes me a bit uh, feeling uh, cautious because whenever when everyone is seeing that then normally it doesn't happen so that's why we could already get here the top at 43k and crash down or overshoot the target and push towards 60 to 70 thousand dollars so that's why it, it's very hard to trade now because if everyone would be bullish and everyone would would expect right now hundred thousand dollars for bitcoin and i'm like the only one expecting at 47 to 50k to the to be the top of this rally and then have another correct uh, correction then I would be much more confident. But because everyone is expecting that, that we will most likely get a rejection here and come back down, this makes me a bit worrying. But um, yeah, we will see what happens. And also, as long as the altcoins are pushing like crazy to the upside, of course, uh, uh, Bitcoin will stay at those price ranges and probably, uh, like I told you, have this uh, next leg up towards 47 to 50k. The question is only, my opinion, if we really would overshoot that target, if this is going to be sustainable once we see Bitcoin at 60k or higher. But uh, if certain things happen and also if the stock market creates new all-time highs and uh, the US dollar index continues to crash because also here we had this week a little pump, but in my opinion, it's just ending up in a lower high and continue the, the downtrend here. We are in a clear downtrend. Even this rally here, uh, it ended uh, right where we were expecting it with the sell signal and we got a lower high compared to the previous one. So everything is still uh, perfectly on track with the downtrend here in the monthly. Uh, here we're getting a fresh sell signal, not a good one, but we should also here expect continuation to the downside. I think that also here we most likely are coming down to test the lows here. For the best case scenario for us, we could even drop down towards this fib line because also here we had a lot of uh, support and resistance. So that's why it's possible that we are also crashing lower. That of course could lead into new all-time highs uh, for the stock market and, and the crypto market. But um, yeah, in general here we are in a downtrend and uh, on, in the crypto space and stock market we are in a clear uptrend. So as long as this is the case, nothing to worry too much. But also here you can see that Nasdaq could test the all-time high and maybe also create a double top formation. 
that is of course possible and then come back down and create an M pattern. This of course would be extremely bearish, but if it happens, then we would crash all the way down there. This is really the bear most bearish scenario that I'm seeing right now, but I, I don't expect that. I, I think that although if we get here a double top formation, we maybe have another correct, uh, correction, uh, but afterwards, also here, we are long term, of course, very, very bullish nothing to worry about but everyone would scream here a double top formation of course if it will happen and uh, looking at coinbase also here we're breaking now the 0.618 fib line i'm expecting also here at least at least to reach the, uh, the this area here the, the top set of the kelton channels 185 dollars if we're bullish enough we could also test 220 dollars the 0.786 fib line and uh, if we break that one then of course i think also here we will see new autumn highs and this, of course, will be in favor also for many other crypto uh, stocks as well. But what I'm uh, looking right now is, of course, uh, what, uh, what the GBTC is doing. I think that here uh, this is going to be our leading indicator to what to expect for Bitcoin. If here we are breaking above this resistance trend line that is coming from the all-time highs, then probably I wouldn't take profits here at 47 to 50k. Then I probably would just huddle through until GBTC continues to pump because why taking profits if every other stock and uh, the traditional markets and and other altcoins and GBTC and and the CMEs everything is looking so bullish why we should take profits here because we should expect continuation to the upside doesn't matter Bitcoin halving or not or ETF or not as long as we are pushing like this crazy to the upside in my opinion is nothing much to worry about and of course pullbacks will be bought back up very very quickly but once the trend is changing once here we're topping out somewhere and we're starting a downtrend expect bitcoin to be trading again at around thirty thousand dollars and maybe even lower if it happens before the next bitcoin halving all right guys and with that said i'm going to wrap it up for now i am bullish i think we're going to see continuation to the upside i am on the water currently with my ethereum position but i am pretty confident that um what we have seen uh, here in the overnight uh, this uh, will continue uh, to go higher here over the next coming days and weeks so that's why uh, i'm gonna remain bullish at least until ethereum is gonna reach here the three thousand dollars area so thank you for watching guys don't forget to leave a like subscribe uh join all the zoomx and the giveaway zoomx is one of the best exchanges out there although if you're trading from the us or canada you can trade without a vpn because they have a license there all right guys so thank you very much for watching and we're gonna see us all in the next one bye for now